Welcome back everyone, you're watching All The Beer No Idea, I'm Baz. Final beer review of the evening now, and it's a Dutch one. And what we've got, and I apologise for the pronunciation, we have a beer from Gebrauen Dovrauen. If you can see that, apologies for the light, maybe you can see that. And this is a bottle of their Tricky Triple. And it's coming in at 7.8% in a 330ml bottle. Uh, part of a box set where I've got 12 Dutch beers in a case. Uh, got it from Beer Wolf, 36 .99. So working out about £3.8p p maybe a bottle, something like that. Uh, quite sort of like hippie-fied kind of artwork, I think, there. Something a little bit odd there, I think. Yeah, it looks a bit odd. Anyway, uh, plain gold bottle cap, nothing to write home about. So let's get this out and uh, get it into the glass, see what we get. Apologies for the wet glass. <laughs> like I said, I'm just rinsing the glass out in the sink, so it's not getting, it's not getting dried properly. It's probably not getting washed properly. So I do apologize. Looking forward to this. A Dutch triple should be interesting. I do like a triple. So in a glass, as you can see, I mean, it looks a bit more orange in the camera, but from where I'm sitting, it's very hazy, very, very lemon-like, uh, quite a spacious finger of white head on top. Looks a bit lighter than I'm, I'm used to seeing triples. They seem to be a bit more sort of amber, but hey-ho, we'll roll with it. So let's give it a swirl. See what we get on the nose. <laughs> there is a little bit of sort of sticky, a little bit of stickiness on the aroma. Big sort of lemon here. Very sort of citrus sort of thing going on there. I'm not really getting anything else out of there. Maybe a hint of a yeastiness, but not hugely. So, without further ado, let's give her a taste. Cheers, everyone. Oh, wow. All right, okay. Let's go in again. Mm. Beautiful body on it, really is a beautiful body. Carbonation, virtually non-existent, is in there, but you don't really feel it, if you know what I mean. Exceedingly smooth in the mouth. I mean, that is super smooth, super soft to drink. Taste-wise, the big thing that hit me straight away from the first mouthful, big yeastiness. You know, I wasn't picking an awful lot up on the nose, but that yeastiness really hits you. Very citrus-like as well. Uh, I've done a triple from Good and Caraloose. Uh, that was a very citrusy sort of triple. This is very much along the same lines. It's even got a little bit of a sweet maltiness to it. It's almost got a sweet malty breadiness to this, which is really nice too. Very lemon in that citrus taste. 7.8%. You get an inkling of the booziness. There's no burn. Uh, there's not really too overpowering, but you do get an inkling of that booziness in this. Hmm. Get that yeastiness, you get that citrus burst. There is a bitterness when you get that citrus burst as well. It's very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, what really surprises me is the body on this. It's got a really good body and the mouthfeel is super, super smooth. Uh, it's really tasty, really tasty. Would I pick it up again? Would I pick it up again? 
I would, I would, I wouldn't get me way to pick this up. But if I saw it, I'd happily drink it again. So uh, yeah, this is Tricky Triple from Gebrauen Dorvrauen out of Holland. Can't exactly read where, if I look at that, if I try and change that writing. Jesus, that is my new. Yeah, I can't read that anyway. It's a really good Dutch triple, uh, slightly different to a lot of sort of like Belgium triples. It, it's not so sticky, uh, very much more along the lines of the Goudem Caroluse, like I said. But yeah, well worth picking up. I'd drink it again happily. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to subscribe. And I will leave you all in peace and drink this and enjoy the rest of my night. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon on another one. Cheers.